St. Lucia has recorded its fourth COVID-19 case, so says Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar-George. A team of 113 Cuban medical professionals arrived in St. Lucia recently to support the island's national response efforts for COVID-19. The team comprised of 100 nurses, six general practitioners, four intensive care physicians, and two epidemiologists. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar George commended the government and people of the Republic of Cuba for their commitment to provide assistance in health care to aid in the battle against COVID-19. The Department of Health and Wellness has been monitoring closely the escalation in the classification of the outbreaks and in collaboration with all stakeholders has strengthened systems to reduce the possible impact of our, on our population. One important gap that we recognized was that of human resource capacity in relation to healthcare workers to support the expected increases within the community respiratory clinics and the respiratory hospital. This led to us reaching out to the Cuban government for support in this regard. Minister for Health and Wellness, Senator the Honorable Mary Isaac, lauded the solidarity of the Cuban government and said she's extremely grateful for the immediate assistance to help St. Lucia fight COVID-19. It is with a lot of excitement and emotion that I look at you here today. And I know the effort, I know the work, I know the, the solidarity that has gone into you being who you are today. And you come in here to help us in St. Lucia. I am just so, so thankful and so grateful. And I thank God for your presence here today because we really need you. We need your assistance. And just the way that you present yourself, it is so professional. I can see that you are here to help us. Ambassador of the Republic of Cuba to St. Lucia, His Excellency Alejandro Simon Casmare, emphasized on the strong ties of friendship between St. Lucia and Cuba and encouraged the medical professionals to accomplish the mission diligently. Today we are proud and honored to receive this group made of doctors, nurses, biomedical engineers, they, come from, they have come from different provinces of Cuba. As you can see, they belong to different generations. Some of them have more experience, some of them less. Most of them are women, which is good. But all of them, they have in common the commitment to work together with the government and the people of the sister island of San Lucia in the fight against the coronavirus pandemic. The discipline, determination, and organization that each of these health professionals showed, the speed and the complete disposition in which they responded to this call, they made it possible for them to arrive in San Lucia in, short, in such a short period of time. The Cuban medical professionals are currently undergoing quarantine for 14 days before commencement of duties. Reporting from the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health and Wellness, I am Fina Neptune.